What's up guys, got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at the next iGear mini warrior figure, uh, this guy being Veer, also known as Swerve. Um, now the first thing you'll notice is the biggest problem with this guy, and the one problem with this guy, and that's his color. Everybody knows Swerve is red. This guy is not even close to red. I don't know what they were smoking when they called this guy red, but this guy is definitely not red. Um, let me pop the gun off real quick. Uh, the gun is actually very cool. It's just like a grenade launcher deal. Very cool. I do like the gun. I like the gun a lot. But here he is with his G1 counterpart. So you can really see the difference in the red. I mean, even cogs we have right here. The color, the red is just much brighter on here. This is, it, it should even be darker than this on Swerve. And this guy is just almost orange. It's like a salmon-y color. It's like, it's really close to orange in hand. It's just, it's like a fleshy orange. It's not even remotely close to red. It's just very, very, very bad. I don't understand why they, how they could release a figure that's supposed to be dark red like this and they released this color. I mean, even the GDO Swerve was a much nicer red than this guy. This guy is not even remotely red. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, the G1 Swerve is just a repaint of Gears, and this guy is just a repaint of Cogs, who is Gears. So, let's get past the color for now. Uh, Obviously, he still rolls the same, same chunky truck, same exact build quality, everything's exactly the same. He's even got the uh, thrusters like Cogs has. Um, let's skip transformation, because we already saw it with Cogs. Uh, let's show him off in his robot mode. Alright, so here we have Veer in his robot mode. Um, as you can see, he does look very similar, but there is some remolding to uh, Cogs. Oop, just smacked him. Uh, let's get the uh, comparisons out of the way. Uh, with cogs, um, actually no, let's do let's do swerve first. So here he is, with here he is in his vehicle mo in his robot mode. Let's transform, swerve real quick. Ooh, hold on one second. Ooh, that one. Sorry, one of his legs. Oops, I knocked everything over. One of his legs is really tight. I just didn't want to break it. Oh, this whole side of him is very tight. It's a good figure. <laughs> Yeah, it could swerve. Okay. Ooh, I gotta put it. Alright, so I can already tell where I need to put a logo. A faction symbol. So here's G1 Swerve next to him. Um, you can see the similar design, the chest. You got the kind of uh, computer -y readout. It's just a bunch of dials and blips and bleeps and bloops. Um, you have a similar thing going on here on his chest. Um, Obviously, the you know it's just white and red basic colors. You see them together. Not a whole lot to say about them. Heads are similar. There's his head. Obviously, this guy doesn't have a painted face, so this guy wins in that department. But yeah, otherwise, you know, fairly similar. Put him off to the side. So let's compare him real quick with COGS to see what has changed. So as you can see, the upper hood canopy part is a little bit different, is, a, is the same. I hate lining these things up. That's the one thing. Getting them, because the, the backpacks don't lock. So you, you know they're straight up and down, you just kind of have to line it all up. So yeah, you can see there's a half moon cutout here, and there's just a square cutout here for the heads. Um, you do have a little extra detailing here, just some squares instead of the flatness that is over here. Chests are completely different. Um, you got these three panels going on where this guy just has the one in the middle. Same thing down here, there's these three bits here, and these three bits here, these are colored, these aren't, these are just, they're just completely Really different. So basically, the whole the whole torso section is different on both of these guys. You also do have 
Is there silver in there? No, never mind. I thought there was silver in there. This looks like through the camera. Kneecaps painted silver here, white here, because the original figure was just all white. But then that, mostly they're mostly the same figure except for the torso. The torso is definitely different on both these guys. So it is appreciated that they did do something different. Here he is with his gun, which I do think looks really good with him. So yeah, there we go. There's really not a whole lot else to say. You can position it, unlike Dune Raker, you can position the shoulders on these guys and they look fine. As opposed to Dune Raker, that just, his shoulders looked awful in any configuration you put them in. So yeah. Again, he also has the, the thrusters. And they're white instead of, I think they were silver on cogs. These guys are white. They're a little bit easier to get out on him. Um, you should also be wary of quality control. My first swerve, or veer, the torso was not screwed to the back. So I transformed him a couple times, it was fine. And then one time I transformed him and literally this whole thing separated out in half and it just fell into pieces. Because there's like four or five screws throughout the torso. And they just forgot to screw it together. So just be aware of quality control issues with these guys. So yeah, this has been the video review for iGear's Mini Warrior Veer, aka Swerve.